Today we're going to talk about the constant of proportionality. So K is the letter that represents constant of proportionality. This is the only letter that can be used to represent the constant of proportionality. This is the constant ratio between two quantities. This means that all ratios are going to simplify to the same fraction. If X is directly proportional to Y, then it has a constant of proportionality. So then K equals Y over X. That's because if I had the equation Y equals KX and I was going to solve for K, I would do that by divide both sides by X and that would leave me with K equals Y over X. So that's kind of where that comes from. So these are directly proportional. So as one amount increases, another amount increases at the same rate. So for example, let's say that I had the following. Let's say I had this right here, this um, table right here. What I could do is I could say to find K, I'm gonna use this equation of K equals Y over X. So K is Y over X. So in this case, it would be six over three, which is equal to two. Over here, 10 over five, that equals two. 24 over 12, that equals two. So K is two because what am I doing each time? I'm multiplying this times two, this times two, this times two. So really what K is, is K is just the number you're multiplying by. That's all it is. So when, as long as it's a proportional relationship, so meaning I can do something to X to get to Y, I can multiply something by X to get to Y, then it's a proportional relationship. And whatever you're multiplying by, that is what the constant of proportionality is. So let's talk about this example. A movie ticket costs five dollars. So the the price, the number of tickets is proportional with the price that you're gonna pay. If I get one ticket, it's gonna cost five dollars, right? So if I have one ticket, that's five dollars. What if I had, I don't know, three tickets? How much would that be? Fifteen dollars. What if I had four tickets? That'd be twenty dollars. What if I had ten tickets? That would be $50. So write all of these rates and simplify. So if I wrote it as a rate, I would say like five over one. Well, that just equals five. Okay, 15 over three, that equals five. 20 over four, that equals five. 50 over 10, that equals five. So write the simplified fraction for all the rates, they all equal five. So, is this relationship directly proportional? Yes, because it's $5 for one ticket. So the constant of proportionality, K, is equal to five. Okay, so Tim drove 360 miles in six hours. So I know in six hours, that was 360 miles. So what if I had, I don't know, three hours? Well, that's like half of that, so that would be half of that, so that'd be 180. What if I had two? Well, what would that be? That would be 120. What if I had one? That would be 60. How did I get that? Because if six hours is 360, could I figure out what I'm doing? Remember that y, uh, K equals Y over X. So I'm gonna do that right here. Three, so K equals 360 over six. Well, what's that equal? 60. So K equals 180 over three. What's that equal? 60. K equals 120 over two. 60. K equals 60 over one. 60. So all of the rates are for 60 miles in one hour. So is this proportional? Yes. The constant of proportionality, K, is 60. So if I was gonna write an equation for this situation, I would write Y equals 60X. And again, the constant of proportionality is this 60 
because I'm multiplying by 60 every time to get to the Y. So that's really all the constant of proportionality is. It's what you're multiplying X by to get to Y. As long as it's directly proportional, you're not adding anything to it. It's just X times something equals Y.